Okay, it's now almost uh, half past 12 on Saturday the 2nd of July and um, the Great Glen race is starting in about half an hour and um, travelled up by bus with, or down by bus from Inverness to Fort William with Ryan had a good chat and just uh, got ourselves ready dropped off our bags, got registered, had a little rest and uh, say the race briefing will start in about 5 or 10 minutes time and then the race starts at 1 o'clock in the morning this is the first time I've done this race and really looking forward to it. I've recce the last 31 miles with Ryan three weeks ago, so I know the second half, but the first half's going to be new. Probably will be in the dark for the first two, three hours, but hopefully I've, quite quickly the sun will come or the light will come up and we'll start and see a new day. Um, so I say looking forward to it, going to do some video clips along the way, so I hope you enjoy the journey. Um, just on, uh, just been going just over an hour, six and a half miles, and uh, first little hill to climb. Um, on my own moment, I ran with people for the first half an hour or so, and then we just spread out a little bit now. Lovely evening for running, and uh, going lots. Okay, latest update. Um, we're going for two hours 48. Uh, bang on 16 miles, been through the first checkpoint and got the head torch off now and um, starting to get lighter by the minute so it's really good. Um, one or two have gone past me and I've caught one or two but basically running on my own, not really chatted to anyone yet and uh, enjoying the day so far. Okay, latest update, been going for 4 hours 45 and 25.75 miles. Just had a great section from the last checkpoint at uh, uh, Lagan Locks. There was a bit of a climb which I hit my beans and then there was a long, long downhill and I went past about maybe 4 or 5 people and caught another couple. So. I've um, been running with Adam, Dave's friend from Keswick for a bit and he, and he left me and was ahead and then he was one of the ones I caught and I, I think he's probably, I, I think he's not too far behind so 
I would imagine he'll catch me again at some point. But um, just, I would say the last hour, I've had a really good section and uh, really good. Climbed out of uh, uh, Fort Augustus, big long climb up, and uh, had a really good section um, from Lagan Lock to um, Fort Augustus, and went past quite a few people on the, uh, the canal bit into those five miles. And who had him, but he's had him just caught up with me again. Uh, strange stop now, and uh, it's a lovely day. Was some climb from uh, Inver Morrison. Uh, been going 43 miles now, eight hours 43, and uh, oh, that was a big climb on the high route. And uh, we've reached now. Uh, I think this is the highest point. It's an absolutely beautiful view. So peaceful, absolutely amazing. Right, we've now got um, a downhill, got a long downhill section now. So my legs are working well on the downhill. So hopefully I can uh, pick up a bit of time. I um, I got to in Morrison dead on seven and a half hours, which was my goal. So that was encouraging. But uh, I've lost about 15 minutes on that climb on my schedule because it was pretty tough. Right, let's go in this down. Just climb out of uh, Drummer Drocket. Been going for almost 50. 11 hours 39. Oh, that was a tough climb. It's been there, uh, the climbs have been hard. But where I've done well today is the downhills. And uh, it's really funny because Adam is definitely stronger on the ups. So he goes past me, he's just come past me again. And I have caught him each time on the downhills. So hopefully I might catch him again. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so we've got about five miles into the last checkpoint and then just over 10 from there. So just about 15 and a bit miles. Um, I'm thinking that my target now is sub 15. If I can get uh, finishing under 15, I'll be very happy. Beautiful view of Loch Ness. It's been a cracking day now. Sunday morning, it's um, 12 o'clock, so just back from the prize giving where I got my uh, nice little uh, glass, whiskey glass, not that I drink, drink whiskey, but uh, 
Uh, that was a nice momento to go to my prizes. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do any any of the video clips the last uh, couple of hours. Basically, I got into the last checkpoint at Loch Laird at about um, 12.29. So I knew I had two hours to try and get in under 14 and a half hours. Um, I, was, I must admit, I struggled a little bit just keeping going. I, there was bits where I knew I should have been running, but I was finding it hard to um, to really keep the momentum going. So I tried, uh, I was pushing as hard as I could. And um, I one guy caught me and I tried to hang on to him a little bit. Then he, I think he must have gone lost a little bit because I saw him again. And then we ran in. My uh, Sunto watch, even though I'd recharged it, I thought there was enough to get me to the end, but it wasn't. So I, I didn't quite have the distances to know uh, how far to go. Um, so I just, just I thought I'll, I'll probably just miss the um, fourteen thirty, and I finished twenty third in fourteen hours thirty minutes and thirty three seconds. So I was just a, a few seconds out of the uh, my silver goal, um, but really enjoyed it. Great race, and um, felt pretty sore afterwards. Um, the, um, one or two little blisters, but more just sort of um, just general fatigue of the legs. Uh, the thing that really encouraged me about the uh, the run yesterday was the f was the downhill running. And normally that's where I'm weakest on, and normally I lose places in time. But I was actually really strong on the downhills, so maybe all that uh, 160 miles in the Hardmore's Hills definitely uh, strengthened my quads for this year. Um, but I knew I was struggling on the way up. The the ups were hard and just trying to keep a steady pace going. And the one out of Inver Morrison, I found pretty tough. Um, when I think about it, when I did the recce with Ryan, we started at Inver Morrison. So that first hill didn't seem too bad because you're on fresh legs, but it's a different story when you've uh, already done 40 miles and then you've got that big climb. But uh, we got there and uh, certainly would come back again. It was a great race, really well organized by Mike and Bill and their team. Marshals were brilliant. So it was a, a really good day and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, just heading back to Paisley this afternoon. Um, and so I'll be uh, recovering. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed seeing the little clips that I did. Didn't do quite as much as I maybe thought about. I thought I might do, but it was a bit wet for part of the time as well. But um, hopefully the bits I did gave you a little bit of a sense of uh, the race. So thanks for watching.